In the education system, and particularly in the science world, we tend to ignore the source of the information. The person presenting the message is extremely important. Sometimes that person might not be the right person. They might be boring and unlikable, and then people react like this. Effort to collect more revenue. Or they might be angry and confrontational. Cane schmurricane, if I may. And then people react like this. This guy is so full of himself. Change your channel, Howard. Or they might be indecipherable and esoteric. I mean, the statistics, literature, and matrix algebra. And people go like this. See the problem with a bad messenger? To make humans open to receiving a scientific message, the messenger has to be both trusted and liked. And that's a problem. Scientists rarely bother to recruit goodwill ambassadors like the UN do, or public spokespeople like many charities do, or popular public supporters like politicians do. They think they can just get up there and talk about the cap and trade system and we're going to be totally into it. Sorry guys, that's just not how it happens. So it's time for scientists to invest in likability. You need to get the audience to like you and to trust you before they'll trust your information. That might mean shaping your message, investing in a PR campaign, or going to a public speaking course, or maybe even doing some improv classes. The Alan Alda Center does specialist science improv classes in New York, and on the West Coast, actor Brian Palermo and scientist Randy Olson also do them. Or sometimes it might mean that you need to change the messenger altogether. But science's failure to effectively make action happen on climate change shows us one thing. We can't afford not to communicate well. So my question to all my fellow scientists out there is this. What are you doing to communicate your love of science to the public. And for all you non-scientists out there, including me, but still lovers of science, how do you think that scientists can improve their communication to the public? Give us your suggestions in the comments below. Hi everyone, I'm Jade Lovell, resident science nerd on the Young Turks Network. You're watching SciQ and we know you don't want to miss an episode, so please click the subscribe button down below.